All right, Credit Warriors, welcome to the show. Now, there has been a rumor, and I love these kind of videos, a rumor that there is a new American Express Centurion Lounge coming to Washington National Airport. Now, if you don't know, these Centurion Lounges are these great airport lounges that you can get into with only a select few American Express cards, including the Platinum, Centurion, and Delta Reserve when flying Delta booked through the card. And so here is where this rumor comes from, the forum Flyer Talk, and user Jonah9703 318 posts announcement coming soon new centurion lounge in dca that's washington national expected to open sometime in 2022 additional expansions at sfo and sea and then he goes on to explain his opinion dca makes a lot of sense strategically my personal guess is it might be landside in the b and c area frankly not sure where they will find the additional space for SEA expansion, but will certainly be helpful given the crowding nowadays. Now the reason that this person says B and C area is, as explained by View from the Wing, American Airlines gave up the US Airways club lounge space that's adjacent to the Admirals Club on the center pier of the BNC terminal. So American Airlines, if you don't know, it merged with US Airways and now the US Airways fleet is no more. It just was absorbed into American Airlines. Now I think this rumor should be taken seriously, especially because what he says about the other two lounges expanding fits uh, with what we know from View from the Wing. Who writes, in San Francisco, American Express plans to significantly grow the Centurion Lounge footprint in United Terminal 3 to nearly 16,000 square feet. In Seattle, the plan is to move from the current 4,500 square foot space to a new 13,700 square foot space on the upper level of the central terminal above the central food court in a 10-year lease with a five-year option. And those are gonna be seriously big lounges. And I would say that this is really good news because Centurion lounges are currently some of the most popular lounges out there. There are currently 13 Centurion lounges, most are in the US, but the first international Centurion lounge is now open in Hong Kong. There's a second international lounge coming to London Heathrow. And in case you're wondering, all of the Centurion lounges have now reopened after their closure for the pandemic, except for the one at La Guardia, which is currently under construction being expanded. And if you wanna see my review of the LaGuardia Lounge, I'll put the link to that video on screen in a second. Now, if you want to go to the Centurion Lounge, a great way to get in is with the American Express Platinum Card, which is currently offering an amazing sign-up bonus of 75,000 points and 10 points per dollar on your gas spending for the first six months. If you wanna know more about that deal, link is in the description. Feel free to click into that link to learn more. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you're new, leave your comments about this uh, new Centurion Lounge in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.